Hi everyone, welcome to a transfer daily. Now, he's coming to my second least favourite part of the season, the January transfer window. Because oh, I hate transfer windows, because it is the start of the... It is the time of the year where football Twitter Albion fans go off the rails because they've heard the most ridiculous rumour and they want to sign this person. We know we're the worst club in the world if we don't sign this person. Oh, I hate transfer windows. I absolutely despise them. I just want them done with. However... I like doing these videos, so I'm going to bring you a transfer daily today, based on the rumours that we've had so far, which our fans will kick off about. First of all, before I start that, I'd like to say, subscribe to my channel. It's um, Freddy Vibe on Magic, you should know it by now. It's a new video coming soon. I'm very, very ill, so please be aware of my hands shaking a little bit. I am ill, I cannot hold this camera straight, but I don't have anything to lean on. So, rumours start with a bad one first, a very bad one. Sam Johnson's been linked with Leeds. Now, he's only got 18 months on selling his contract, so this isn't an unfeasible transfer at all. And I think it'd be a very bad one because he's been a player of the season and certainly the one who cares the most this year. Our lovely guy. And I think he's proved a lot of Albion fans wrong this year. Leeds have the money to afford him as well, which also worries me. And... I think losing Sam Johnson would all but confirm a relegation. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Ins, there's James Tompkins, who Sam Allardyce wants to re-sign. Doesn't surprise me. Big six-foot centre-back who heads the ball. Why won't Sam Allardyce want him? Um, there's Numar Diassi, who scored 12 goals in four years, which isn't a great return, but he clearly likes Sam Allardyce, so... The club might go for him. There's... Um, I can't remember his name. I saw one. Oh, bloody hell. Mamadou Sako. He's been linked as well. Now, I don't know too much about him. But he's not playing too much with Palace. And it would cost something like £26 million, And I don't think West Brom will ever cough up that money as long as these owners are in charge. So there isn't too many ironclad rooms. Unfortunately, the room that has the most sort of re reliability in terms of sources is the Sam Johnson one. That's the one we don't want to be true. Hopefully it isn't true. Yeah, as you can... Sorry for the hand. I'm just... I'm so well recording this. Not much on the transfer front. But I'll be doing the transfer day at least. But I hate the transfer window because I think it's... When our most irritating supporters come out of their shell and moan about signings that we were never even linked with. Let's just get this window over with. And hopefully we're getting some players that are going to help us survive, even though it's going to be very, very tough. So, that's the only other thing I'd like to say is how happy new year. 2020 has not been easy for any of us. We've all struggled in different ways. I'm lucky that I've not lost any loved ones. However, my sanity has been going off the rails. I've not been able to perform magic until very recently. Not seeing my family, not going to the football, not doing the sports that I enjoy. Cricket. I was going to take up snowboarding as well. It's all affected it in different ways, but in about seven hours, 2020 will be a memory. And... It's a memory that whilst we never want to experience it again, it is one that when the time comes and these times have passed, it's one that we're going to have to hold close to us, this memory, because 2020, even though it's been horrible, it's taught us how much we value things that we may not have valued before. And that's what I'm going to remember this year for. I'm not going to, I'm going to remember it for COVID, but I'm going to remember it. It's a constant way to remind us all of when things are back to normal, how lucky we are. And I'm hoping that things are back to normal soon. Miss all my Albion family. Miss my actual family. Miss my clients in Magic. Miss performing. I miss my sports. I miss everything. We all do. So hopefully we'll be seeing this soon with the vaccine. Hopefully we'll be reunited in 2021. I don't really care what league we're in. I'd challenge you to find an Albion fan that wouldn't take a relegation right now if we could guarantee that we'd be back 
with our own fans sometime in 2021. I wish you all a fantastic day. I'll see you next year. <laughs> but have a great day. Have a happy, happy new year. And hopefully things improve. Keep positive. Keep smiling. I hope you enjoy this transfer daily. Have a happy new year. See you around, Bruno fans. Bye bye. Don't forget to um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you soon.